Hello folks, it is not only investing that is important, but investing at the lowest cost of operation and the lowest risk that is more important. It is easy for anybody to invest, but when it comes to the cost of operation, if it is more and whatever return you are getting, it will become useless. So let us first find out what are the different methods of investing at the lowest cost of operation. The first that comes to my mind is PBF account. PBF account gives you around 8 to 8.5 percent where there is no tax at the all the three stages like investment, or growth or withdrawal. There is nothing that can beat PPF account in today's world where that kind of a return is there when you add 2 percent tax savings then it almost comes to unbelievable 10.5 percent. So anybody who has got income should first exhaust his limit for PPF account. Next comes the national pension scheme. In national pension scheme you have a tax deduction of under 80 CCD 1 of 1 1.5 lakhs an additional 50,000 in 80 CCD 1B and the fees is at its lowest 0.01 percent and remember national pension scheme is now the biggest fund and biggest largest membership has got in crores okay? and trillions of uh, rupees is there that is the under asset center management and crores of members are there. So such a big uh, opportunity you should never miss. So the next thing that you have to do is go and invest in national pension scheme. The third thing when you are coming to say investing after exhausting your PPF and NPS, you want to invest in equities or other investable financial assets, then the broker, selection of broker becomes very very important because the broker charges 2 percent to 2.5 percent anywhere of the both buy and then the sell, not the net. A total of buy and total of sell. So what is the best way? The best way is to find a broker who will charge you much much less, not 2 and 2 to 2 and half percent for buy and 2 to 2 and half percent for sell, so total 5 percent goes to the broker, so what are you left with? So when you search for a broker, you get online discount brokers. There are a scheme available where online discount brokers are there, they charge the lowest fees and what is the lowest fees? because they give you no frills, no research, no support, but no frills account and then their charge is 0, almost 0, near to 0 for delivery and 9 to 20 pesa per transaction, 9 rupees to 20 rupees per transaction, whatever be the amount, because they will only lend you their technological platform, more than that they do not do anything, but that itself works out to a lot of money because compared to 5 percent for a to full time broker. Then the next one comes the online ULIP. You can have a ULIP in insurance company, you can buy a ULIP from an agent, you can buy a ULIP you know anywhere, but there the charges will be around 5 percent and above. So when you go for an online ULIP, the charges come down to 1.35 percent, that is a straight saving of 3.7 percent. The next one is the gold bonds, gold bonds is one where the bond in the bond shape the charge is nil, they even give you a return and gold ETF the charge is only 1 percent, gold ETF the charge is very very lit, limited at 1 percent and the last one in this line is the ETF index fund, in the ETF index fund there is a comparison between an index fund for a mutual fund and an ETF by the same mutual fund, when you take for example HDFC, HDFC index fund the charges the cost of operation is 0.15 percent, whereas the ETF the charge is 0.05 percent. So obviously buying HDFC Nifty ETF gives you 0.10 percent, 0.1 percent reduction in your cost, so that adds to your return for the same service that they do in the same, and when in fact ETF is much better because you can buy and sell as you do a share on a stock market. So, happy investing, see the lowest cost investment options for, for yourself.